everybody. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Turn Ups to Tangerines. And today we are going to be making a chicken pot pie bubble up casserole. And I mentioned it a few days ago when I did the video on how to prepare chicken thighs for the freezer when I put all the chicken thighs in the crock pot and took it off the bone and then froze it. And this is a chicken that I did in that video. So now I'm going to be using it up and it's a nice cold day here in Wisconsin. A little bit of snow flurries. So this is the perfect recipe for that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add two cans of cream of chicken soup to our uh, chicken here. And we're just going to put those in. There we go. Get all of that out of there. There's one. And there's two, two cans of cream of chicken soup. We got a little few flurries today, a little chilly out. And I thought, well, let's use up some of that chicken I made the other day. And this is a perfect recipe for that. I've been wanting to make it. And it should be thrown together real quickly. And I'm going to quickly season this with... A little bit of mess here. Oh, that's okay. A little bit of seasoning salt. Just a little bit here. And a little bit of uh, fresh ground pepper. Probably a lot of fresh ground pepper. My husband loves his pepper. There. And... I am going to just sprinkle on two packages here of this herb oil um, sodium free chicken bouillon powder just to give it a little bit of flavor, a little extra chicken flavor. I'm just going to scoot that around a little bit. And then we are going to add in a cup of sour cream. I'm only going to put in a cup of sour cream. Some people put in a little bit more than that. But I think a cup is plenty in this. I mean, I don't want to overload it with the sour cream flavor either. So I'm just going to scoop some in here. And this is just plain old sour cream. There we go. Throw that in. There. Very easy recipe here that I like this time of year. And the rest of the sour cream, which is, I'm just using this kind here, the daisy, which I do prefer. <laughs> I'm just gonna set that aside and I'm gonna use that for a different recipe coming up. So, there. And then we are going to add in a uh, 10 ounce package of your mixed vegetables. Now, I'm not one for mixed vegetables. I have mentioned that many times before, but in a recipe like this, it, it's handy and it comes in, it's very convenient. And this has the, um, the carrots, the peas, the corn, and the green beans. And, you know, a recipe like this, you can't go wrong. You gotta use the mixed vegetables. You can use any kind you want. If you don't even like any of this in here, you know, you could use, I guess, any other kind too. I suppose dry broccoli and Make it like a chicken divan or a chicken divine or however they pronounce that recipe. You could do that too. And there we go. We're just going to stir this up. I mean, it looks pretty good to me already. Yeah. We're just going to stir it around a little bit. And then I'm going to add, oh, about a cup of cheese. And that is about half of this package. This is just your fancy shredded um, cheddar cheese. And the rest I'm going to use for a different recipe also. So, kind of that time of year where you got to kind of think of recipes that you can, you know, like buy a six ounce of sour cream and use half and use the other half for another recipe. So, now I'm going to, I'm going to be making a everything bagel dip coming up. 
for Thanksgiving. So that's coming up too. And I'm just going to stir this around. Oh yeah, this looks good already. Here. There we go. We are going to spoon that into the pan here, into just a, just a 13 by 9 glass um, baking pan here, three quart. And my vegetables are still frozen, which is okay because they will be baking anyhow here. And I gotta quick get something to wipe my hands off with so I can lift that up. Oh, that tastes good. Just took a little lick off my finger and ooh. That was good. And now, here's the. And I didn't spray it or anything either. I mean, you can if you want to. I didn't. Um, you know, you could if you wanted to, but I decided not to. I don't. Oh, well, there we go. Not always necessary sometimes, I don't think. Let me just scoop this around. Plop that in there, why not? There we go. I'm just gonna scoop out my bowl here and get everything out of here. There, how's that? Don't want to leave anything behind in my bowl. There. Get that there. And wipe that up. Oh, and we're going to just spread this around nice and thick and good. My husband loves this type of a dish. So he is always more than happy to try it. There we go. Ooh, sounds like my dogs are back. Uh-oh. That's not always good. I'll be tearing in here real quick. Oh, yeah. And they're waiting for their dinner, too. So, okay. Now, I'm just going to set this aside here. And then, I'm going to work on my biscuits to go on the top. That's going to be the bubble up part. So, I'm going to get that done here in one second. Hi, Larry. Now we gotta cut our biscuits. We're just gonna cut them like that. See, Larry? Just like that. Yeah, real easy, Larry. Look at that, Larry. Yeah, you can't have one until it's cooked, though, Larry, okay? Why don't you go watch your badgers? They're playing. Go on, go watch your badgers. Pop up. I'm just gonna cut these like this. And cut this one. And these are your big jumbo biscuits. And we are gonna just cut them in quarters. I've heard all different ways of doing this. Some people cut them in quarters and quarters again and all. See, whatever, right, Larry? We're just going to do it this way. All right, Larry? We're not going to get all fancy-dancy. Now there's small heaters in the top drawer in here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's move this down just a little bit. And we are going to move that. You are going to have anything right now, Larry. It hasn't even cooked yet. Okay? Sure, sir. I'm going to wow. move that over just a little bit here. And we can do that. Here are our biscuits, and we're just going to throw them in here randomly. Push it down a little bit. I'm going to take some melted butter on top. And I'm just going to push this in. There we go, Larry. Oh, that's going to be good, Larry. I do think so. Cheese and all kinds of stuff, Larry. Larry's a good boy. Right, Larry? 
Yeah. Good boy. Yes, you are, Lily. There we go. Just keep adding those biscuits on. One at a time. I'm trying to make room here. Rhyme or reason. Right, Billy? There. And I'm just going to cover it with a little tin foil for like just a, 10 minutes, I think. I don't know if you should or not, but I think I'm going to. I don't want to over brown them either. Well, kind of get a spot in there for that. Got three left. Here's, well, Papa wanted one separate. Well, he's not going to get one now, we okay? No. Papa's going to have to have biscuit. He loves biscuits, doesn't he? Yeah. How's that? One more. Well, let's pull you around here and we will maybe... I don't know. Let's just put it in here somewhere. There we go. How is that? I'm going to move that aside. And then we're going to take our melted butter, Larry. Okay. And we're just going to butter the top here. Just butter the, lightly butter the top of our biscuits. And ooh, yum. How's good that, Larry? Yup. Tablespoons here of melted butter. And this is an, a nice, easy meal. That you can really, anybody can probably throw this together, I would think. Prepping your chicken before is always good. Like I did, made it in the crock pot. Rotisserie chicken, or leftover chicken. This would be excellent with leftover Thanksgiving turkey. This would be a wonderful recipe for that. Yep, right Larry? You don't want to use that. I suppose if you had leftover, you know, ham, you could probably use that too. Thanksgiving. Christmas ham. There we go. There we go. Let's put that aside, and there we go. In the oven, we are going to go with that. Look at that. Yum. Here we go. Oh, I think I missed one. <laughs> I think I missed this one. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I missed this one, too. Let's see. Okay, that looks good. And there we go. In the oven. It's gonna go. Yum, yum, yum. Yum. Okay. Oof. Steaming hot there, there. Yes, nice and creamy and hot. Oh, look at that. Wow. Wow, that is hot. That is hot. And look at that. Isn't that look yummy, yummy, yummy? And it's very hot and very yummy. Vegetables in there, the chicken, the biscuits, which are nice and fluffy. Ooh, yum. Perfect. Put a little bit more sauce here on top, just a little bit there. Ooh. Mm. And that baby is done. There's our dinner. Certainly can't wait to dig in. It's a little hot yet. So I gotta let it cool off and then we're gonna dig in.